Today we are on the first video of the canal series. Um, we have done one of them before for Garden Gateway. Once again, we are doing another one, which will be a shorter, more condemned down version um, of what we're going to do. But this is more of a river than a canal, hence the Riverside TMD, the name of the layout. So I've moved some bits over there and we're literally going to have it up to this road so it's going to go all the way along and then curve off um which then will be mirrored off on the other side of this back scene so that's what we're going to be doing um so what i've started doing is getting some newspaper which i've just put down there the sun what's better um <laughs> uh, and then what we're doing is moving stuff out of the way and then literally just gluing it down in like a papier mache kind of way just roughly so then we can uh, use it for contouring so we pushed it nice and down scrunched it up glued it just so it soaks in um, and then here is going to be where it will come out of like a tunnel and then uh, enter so uh, that's what we're going to be doing today right I'm going to do the messy bit and film as much as I can and then I'll be back with you in a bit right okay we have finished doing the screwed up newspaper as you can see and now we have little bits I've teared up which will go over the top like that right okay we have the polyfiller it can be exterior or interior um, I've got the ready mix stuff as it's really easy to do um, and to work with so I have got that and because of the heat it's like 32 degrees at the moment and it's 8 o'clock at night um, it's nice and melty so it's, it's going to be quite easy to apply it's going to go all the way along here um, and then this edge there so I'm going to get on with that I'm going to find a scraper or either do it with my hands but it doesn't matter if you use interior or exterior as it could crack in my opinion all it's likes because it's going to be under the water and it's realistic etc um, and it's a natural formation of river so it can do whatever it likes for as far as I'm concerned but other people might not want it cracking it shouldn't crack because the realistic water should seal it in and if you do it correctly it shouldn't crack either this is my fourth canal slash river slash stream I've done in this method and it's uh, gone alright three times so hopefully this one will be the same alright let's get on with this Right, okay, more progress on the canal. Sorry I haven't been able to time lapse anything. Um, it's very, 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 you've probably got the point. It's very messy. Like, very. Um, so, yeah, we've done this. Um, looking quite good so far. Ignore the blue spot. I dripped some paint whilst touching up backboard. Um, this is what we've got. We've rubbed some over the... Uh, papier mache and um, that will make it just go really hard and add as an extra waterproof in uh, it looks like we're gonna have to leave it there for today it for me but for you it'll be probably in the same video to do the paint um, so I'm gonna leave you there um, at this excitement moment and I'll be back tomorrow evening um, which for you will be very quick it will be in the next couple of seconds will be tomorrow evening and we'll be uh, continuing with this but that's what it looks like at the moment so uh, looking good and I've got some boats as well they're from our and Lye shops so supporting the charity as well so that's always good as well I've got a nice very nice canal boat that I got from Alexandra Palace show which I'll show you at a later point when I put it in so uh, yep yeah, see you tomorrow okay right it is the following evening um, welcome back to the layout uh, this now is all dry, um, all nice and hard, uh, so yep, that's all done, that's all superb, that's nice and hard. So, what we are going to do now is apply the olive drab paint with a brush and uh, give it all a good painting into uh, this colour. 
Right, okay, this area is all now painted. I've done the hillside as well, which will have a scatter over it. Um, in particular, this scatter by Wooden Scenics. So that's gonna be over the top. I might do that now, I'll wait until it goes a little bit tacky. Um, I'll see how long I've got, um, so I need to eat. Um, so, yep, I'm gonna just make sure I've got everything. I'll go around the viewing side, which is that side, and this is the uh, exhibitor side, where I am right now. Um, so yeah, it's going all right. So this layer's all done, um, and then we'll have to start doing the scenery. just to lock it in first so when you spray it with hairspray it don't go everywhere um, so basically what we have now is a good layer to work with so I just want to make sure it's all good before I add the realistic water I'll be doing it in layers the same as I have before and every yard junction does it in that way and it works well doing it like that um, so hopefully that should be all good and it will go well and uh, fingers crossed. Right, okay, our canal area is now all done. Um, well, by, by that I mean the base scenery slash base of the canal is done. Uh, the realistic water needs adding, but I need to find wherever I put it in here. I don't have a whole bottle, I've got about a quarter, and then obviously I need to get some more. Um, so we're going to probably put that in uh, I don't know uh, this needs to dry anyhow so I'm going to let that dry and then decide if I'll put a little bit in on a very thin layer and then build up on it so we'll just have to see if that will work etc um, at the moment it looks quite good I think the effect is quite good so if I take you off the tripod um, you can see uh, what we have done um, I can't see what I'm filming, so you're going to have to bear with. Um, right, so this is what we've done. Got them clocks are so annoying. Right, so then you've got this area here, and then it goes off scene, and there'll be a mirror here, um, as well as um, up there with some tunnel portals that I'm going to put in any second now. So that's the stage we're on. Um, Right, okay, we are ready to add the realistic water to our canal. So we are going to get on and do that now. Um, as always, we're using the Woodland Scenics Realistic Water. Um, as I find that always seems to do a very nice job. And it's really easy. Well, I find it easy as well. So uh, let's get on with this. Uh... Right, this is what the realistic water looks like it's about 20 to 30 pounds this is a bit of an old bottle hence why it's 22 pounds 25 i got mine from john Dutfield, as you can see a great model shop in chelmsford um but you can mainly get it up from hattons or anywhere um really so uh, let's apply this in fact i think it's sealed itself yeah right um i'll be back once i've got it open Right, okay, we've got it open and we are going to apply this now. Right, 
Right, so it's keyly important to check that you have no leaks. So it's good to go under the baseboard and you can see we have no uh, leaks. We're using OSB board, um, which is a waterproof exterior board, which is really good. Um, not, I'm not sure how many other people use that, but I've got it on Garden Gate by in this. And I've got pine wood up the loft as well as uh, a bit of chipboard. So uh, that's what we've got. So now we can add uh, starting to details, but you want a little bit of water under them first before you apply the boat. So what we'll do is let that dry. And then on the, on the second layer before doing that, we'll plonk the boats in as well as my canal I have. But another important bit for me is to check nothing's came through. But how I counted that, we have this little bit of board there. Got this board there as well as I painted down here so you shouldn't ever get any leaks through there either. Right, okay, thank you for watching today's video. Give it a like, share and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. The new loco, as you can see, is on its way over to the layout so you'll be seeing that soon. Okay, then finally for me, I'd just like to thank all you subscribers for subscribing to get us to 400 subs and let's keep going. Right, thanks for watching.